All right, today we're on a 23 foot Hydrosport walk around. It's a 230 Seahorse. Uh, we're starting out here in the, in the cabin, which is a nice, big, spacious V berth. Uh, you've got a freshwater sink down there. We've got a stereo amp. You got lighting in here. Uh, the middle cushions remove uh, so that you can have, you know, sofa seating. Uh, and there's also room for a porta potty under there. Over here to the port side, we've got uh, storage drawers with a uh, worktop. And of course, you've got two port hatches and uh, one overhead hatch. Very nice. There's a VHF right here next to the door, and that's where the stereo goes as well. Check the pictures for that. It's a nice black acrylic uh, door. Give you some privacy in there. And as we come out here on the helm, we've got a let me cover this Garmin. Got a nice Garmin 546S. It is a Ritchie Compass. And on the Hydro Sports gauges, we have a speed, tack, trim fuel. Uh, and then we got a 12 volt in the middle. Horn bilge, lights, wash down, and accessory. And then we've got our uh, throttle over here key switch and OMC throttle and there's a uh, Sony head unit a remote for the stereo and we also have trim tabs Bennett uh, the captain's seat is a nice pedestal seat that's adjustable up and down front to back and the uh, co-pilot seat is also nice and adjustable and then we got storage compartments on each side with beverage holders and under there is a is a tackle drawer let's take a look at that Close that door. See what that looks like. Very tight and private. Okay, so anyway, we've got tackle storage down here. So you got lots of room for all your tackle there. And then we've got a huge cockpit area in the back to fish off of. Um, you've also got uh, seating behind each of the uh, pedestals, and then uh, one of these. They're both uh, can be used as coolers. It looks like they're insulated. And then we've got a uh, fish box and live wells back here. So it is uh, two fish boxes and a live well. Under here we've got our, our battery, cranking battery. You got a battery switch in there, Perco. Uh, in the middle here we've got another battery with a battery charger, fuel filter, clean looking bilge down there. And then there's our uh, fill for our two-stroke oil. Nice Coleman pads all the way around. So all the pads match. They're all in good shape. Got uh, room for four or eight rods or gaffs or nets or whatever you want to put under there. And I'm also uh, standing under a very nice uh, three-piece bimini. So you've got the small bimini in the front if you just want to go with that. And you've got a connecting piece, and then you have a larger bimini in the back to give you full shade here. Keep you out of the weather. You got uh, rod launchers, rocket launchers back here. And then we do have the engine on a uh, stainless steel engine bracket. A very powerful Evan Rude 300. And we got Sea Star hydraulic steering. So we'll walk around to the front here. We do have a uh, very nice stereo system. It is a Sony head unit. Looks like a, about a 600 watt amp in the cabin. And then we've got two of these JBL speakers on each side. There's a raw water wash down. We got some more speakers up here. Well, that might be the speakers for the VHF. But uh, going forward, there's your deck hatch. And you've got a padded seat up here, anchor locker, nice bow pulper with a stainless steel rail, and a fluke anchor with a roller. All right. He also has a windshield that goes uh, between here and here. So you get uh, coverage and protection from the rain if you're out in some weather. But uh, it's a beautiful boat, lots of room in the cockpit 
nice well laid out helm, spacious cabin. We'll go outside and take a look at the outside of the boat next. Right, here we are on the outside. Uh, very nice Evinrude E-Tech with a three blade prop. Got a nice swim platform and ladder there. Um, there's your trim tabs. Beautiful boat, nice all aluminum trailer. You got five wheels. And it's a great looking boat. Great package, well priced. All offers are welcome.